Grade 3 Math, number 71. One-third. One-third. That's what we're going to talk about today. So, let's take a look at these flowers. We've got one, two, three flowers. One of the three flowers is purple. One-third of the flowers are purple. One out of three. There's one purple flower out of three total flowers. One-third. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this one. We've got one, two, three, four blue ones, one, two, three, four purple ones, and one, two, three, four pink ones. One-third of the flowers are purple. Right here, these four. Here's a group of four, here's a group of four, and here's a group of four. One-third of them is purple. There's four flowers in a group of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Four of the 12 are purple. Four fits into 12 three times. One of these fours has three fours that can fit into this 12. Okay? You got four. Oops, not too many. So, each of these bars is a bar of four, okay? Sorry, they're not even. There's one bar of four here, three bars of four in this 12. Think of it that way. One, four can fit into this 12 three times. So the fraction four twelfths is equal to one third. One of these fits into here three times. One third. Okay, let's try it again. We've got six blue flowers, six purple flowers, and six pink flowers. One third of these flowers are purple. You got a group of six, a group of purple, and a group of pink. Six of a total of 18 flowers there's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Total of 18 flowers, and 6 of them are purple. So 6 eighteenths are purple. 1 6 can fit into 18 three times. There's a 6 here, and there's a 6, 6, 6 here. Three of them. Because 3 times 6 equals 18. See that? So you got a 6 plus a 6 plus a 6. And there's only one here. So that gives you one-third. These are equivalent fractions. Okay, we've been talking about equivalent fractions a lot in the last couple of videos. There's one 6 and there's three 6s. See? Let's look at this one. Now we have 10 blue circles, 10 purple circles, and 10 pink circles. We have a group of blue, a group of purple, and a group of pink. One-third of these circles are purple, this middle group. And there's 10 in each group, 5, 10. So 10 of these 30 are purple, which means one-third is purple. That's an equivalent fraction. In fact, when they end with a zero, look at that. You cover up the zeros and it looks like one-third, doesn't it? All right, so now let's look at this pizza. You cut it into three pieces. You eat this big piece. And now you've eaten one-third of the pizza. You ate one of the three pieces. You ate one, and there was a total of pe total pieces was three. 
and the one is what you ate. See? So you ate one-third of the pizza. So you can either do it in big groups like this and still have a third, or you could take one item and split it into three and have a third. Equivalent fractions are just fractions that are equal to each other, and the numbers may be a little bit different, but they still are equal to each other. I want to show you something with this one. In four twelfths, okay, we know it equals one third, but in four twelfths, you can say uh, four times one equals four, and four times three equals twelve, okay? And then you see the one and the third. There's the fraction, there's the one third. See that? And we can do it again to the 6 18ths. I started doing it right here. 6 times 1 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. Look at, here's the 1 third. So these are equivalent fractions. This is what 1 third means. You can have 1 things split up into three, and you could take one of them so that you've got a third of it. Or you could have a lot of things split it into groups and take one of the three groups and have a third. That's one-third. I'm going to talk about one-fourth next. Stick around. See you next video.